Hello book people, PT here. It is questionable Saturday, so I'm going to come at you with another crazy, ridiculous, hypothetical book-related question. Last week's question was about aliens. Which one novel would you give to aliens to kind of help them shape their opinion of humanity? I got a lot of great answers, so I appreciate that. I'll link to it below. You should go, go check it out if you haven't uh, done so and just read the comments as to some people's great suggestions for it. All right, so here's this week's question. You're, uh, I guess you're browsing at a, a yard sale and you come across a weird old lamp. And it's kind of dusty, so you kind of give it a little rub, rub off the dust. You'll never guess what happens. A genie pops out and you're like, oh man, three wishes, this is gonna be sweet. And the genie's like, no, I'm not that kind of genie, I'm, I'm different. I, I, what I do is I propose an option to you and you can accept it or not. And you're like, all right, well, that's not the standard. Uh, genie arrangement, but whatever. So the genie says, all right, look, I can tell by looking at you that you love to read. And you're like, all right, got it in one. Nicely done, nailed it. So the genie says, all right, here's the deal I'm gonna make with you. I have the ability to let you read every book that's going to be published in the next 30 years. I can give you all access to all those books. You can read them anytime you want at your own pace. You can read, you know, whoever your favorite author is, you can read all their upcoming works if they're still out. You can read the the um, rest of the Song of Fire, Fire and Ice series. You can uh, read, you know, whatever your poison is. So if you want to read the rest of the Sanderson books, whatever you love that's going to be coming out in the next 30 years, I will give you access to that. And you're like, all right, that's a good wish. I'll take it. But he's like, wait, there's a couple stipulations. First of all, you can't talk about these books. You can't because we don't want you to ruin the plots of these books, obviously. If you try to like tell talk about the plot of them or even describe the cover to someone you'll just like not be able to talk and you can't show them to anyone either if you try to show it to them they'll just it'll look like a blank blank book to them so that won't work but here's the real the big one the real question is you for the next 30 years the time frame of these books coming out you will not be able to read any books from the last 100 years so that's the deal. You get access to all the books that are being published 2016 through 2046, I guess, 45? Is that how math works? But you will not have any access to the books from 2016 going back to 1916. So there you go. You're gonna lose the last 100 years to gain the next 30 years of books. At the end of 30 years, you can go back to reading whatever you want. Will you take this offer, BookTube? Would you would you get access to the next 30 years of books if it meant losing access for 30 years to the past 100 years of books? What do you say? I'm curious. Leave your comments below. Let me give my opinion. All right, that was my, that's the international symbol for, if you want to pause it and think about it for a second, you can. Um, I, I think I would not do it just because I like waiting for release dates. I think it's fun. I like seeing what's going to come out. And also there's a lot of stuff I have not read of the past hundred years that I really want to get to. Specifically a lot of crime fiction, a lot of classic sci-fi, things like that. So I'm not going to take the offer, but I'm curious what you will do. All right, that's going to do it for me. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.